All right, guys. So welcome to the PF Music Podcast. This is your host, Paulo Yaris Vargas. This is episode 115 from the PF Music Podcast. Control what you can control now. Simple as that. You're listening to the podcast and YouTube Rumble and Bitchute. Make sure that you subscribe. You're listening to the podcast and on the Uncle FM. Make sure that you you know basically uh, share with your other friends. And I'm gonna really appreciate it. Control what you can control now. I know how hard it is that I I'm a victim of that stuff as well. Sometimes I just want to do things that I cannot simply control. Invest too much in that. And I'm gonna rant a little bit about this. And sometimes I you know I can lose some lose myself in the in the process and I wanna basically regroup on this sometimes we just in my case I want to to push or accelerate things that are not in my control and I notice that when I, every time that I do that it does end in a position where where I'm not pleased okay I must say I'm not content I'm not uh, happy about it for the reason being is because I do invest a lot of emotions and energy and things that I cannot simply control. So I can only invest things or emotions in things that I can really control, like um, do activities that I can do today and make a difference. And why I want to say that? Um, because is for me first of all it's a good reminder uh secondly is it's a good advice that does require a lot of discipline it's like working out you see yourself in the mirror every day and you want to just see the good muscles right away but in reality that process takes years and years and years of preparations even years of let's say a consistency whether you're working out six times a uh, six times a week, seven times a week, or even four times a week. In my case, uh, sometimes I want to control things that are out of my range. I think it's because it could be fear. It could be. Um, it could be, you know, a lot of things that right now I don't have. I'm not those cry. But in the end, I do understand that that's not a good thing to start with. When you are a boss or you're a teacher, my kid, I'm gonna tell a story. When I was a teacher, a music teacher, uh, teaching was not my, let's call it my passion, but I would do it. Now I will have multiple, uh, multiple clients or multiple students student being you know those that wanted to basically learn how to play the piano and some student that they were okay on some student that they would not even care and something that I would notice is I would always end up tired by the end of the day like very tired especially emotionally tired and I want to know why is that and I noticed that it was because I was investing too much emotion and those students that didn't want to, didn't want to basically they did not want to just learn to play the piano now that being the case I decided you know maybe this is not for me because in my in my case I have students that they were taking classes for three years and they were still doing the C major scale and that's with me just repeating the C major scale over and over and over again. Now what I noticed is I was just wasting a lot of energy. A lot of energy and people that didn't want to understand the piano. I didn't want to learn the piano. Now by that time I asked myself, is it this worth it to just spend time with people that, people that don't really care how to play the instrument? And the conclusion was no, it's not worth it. So that's why I decided to move. 
and teaching the instrument. And there's a lot of, of course, a lot of answers regarding why I wanted to quit because there's a huge inflation. Uh, the, the value of the piano is very low because there's a lot of pianos in the market. Therefore, one that doesn't want to do it for 20, uh, someone, someone else will do it for $15. That's how it goes. That's just the market, how it works. And that's when I enter, of course, sales and I start doing real estate and all the things. Now, by that time, the only thing I could control was changing my life. I It was rough because there was a time where, where, where I didn't understand why the thing was happening. I was thinking, like, if a family is investing 200 or $300 to just put their students to go through something like this, wouldn't they think that that could be, it's not their money? But that's not that's not it that's not how people think when they're entitled so i said to myself you know what maybe this is not the position to be this is not something that i really want to do and i started just taking action and controlling what i could and lo and behold life you know entered and of course really did uh, things to me and of course with that I learned my point is that the only thing I could uh, control was taking a decision and really making a difference now when you start working with other people you cannot expect that when you're dealing with people you cannot expect that but the simple fact you cannot control their behavior you can't simply control them you can only control yours Based on that, you can just, you know, maneuver and do things based on your perspective. But beside that, you can't do, you can't control things out of your realm of possibilities. And that's a hard truth. Why is a hard truth? Okay, let me just dig in a little bit deeper. We think that the world revolves against our reality, and the reality is it's the opposite. Our reality is revolved by the law of truth and nature. We think that we all live in a movie. We are all stars. We are all these fake things. We create all this fakes and facade for the simple fact that we never control our life. We live with the success of other people. That's why we spend a lot of time watching sports, celebrities. Because instead of controlling our own, our own responsibilities, we want to just be attached to these people that are quote unquote making it happen. And that's of course just throwing truth out of the window of course you cannot take responsibility when you do that I'm not a perfect man I do things based on my opinions right my experience most of the time can be right can be wrong I don't know but I just learned from this you can control your emotions you can control your behaviors you cannot control what people react to those. You can do that. The urges, you can control them. What, what happened after that? The urges, you can control them. Because by that time it's too late. I don't know what um, the real end of having all these things together, but it sounds like it's like a small red pill, right? Or a small matrix moment when you realize, realize that a lot of decisions that you did in your life, it might be because you were not, of course, sure 
of a lot of these small details. And that's okay. That's okay for the simple fact that at least now it's time for see things in a, little, a different lens. You guys have no idea how hard for me sometimes to do a podcast for some reason. It's only what 15 20 minutes. But I know I can control that. I can control making the video. I can control making it happen. And these go way back when I started doing um a lot of self development especially with um approach anxiety. I used to suffer from that a lot because I was a very introvert kind of person and what happened was I knew I needed to do something so I just went at it and started approaching people 20 people a night for me that was hard now I'll do cold call cold calling I call hundreds of people and I'm okay with that well, be, uh, before it was not like that Now, by time, things go different. I use those skills to just deal with my daily life. And becoming, I'm getting somewhere. Where that somewhere, God, God has those plans for me. Plans that in the moment I might not understand. But the more that, you know, life goes on, I, I'm understanding. And something that I notice it's just based on things that I can control and on my own decisions. Huge fan of this process because it just, it does show me a lot from myself. Things are never understood, but you know, it is what it is. Now it's the time to make things happen and control my life. The same for you, if you're listening. Control your mind, control your life. The things that you can reach, don't worry about the things that you can't. Because it will, it will drain you, it will. That's why sales is a high paying job. Because you, build, you, you just develop skills to convince, to help people that they might not see things from the same glance that you do. I just have an interview uh, a couple of hours ago about, man, uh, they just, they have an interview for an hour and a half. And by the end of the interview, I was tired, like tired, hypnotized, like mm, so tired that I knew something was not right. And by the end of the interview, the person just throw the question, the closing question, which is basically the client need to qualify. And I felt like a client because the question was, why should I just be a part of the business? And I knew that question was coming and I don't like it because it's just, it's a psychology game. And I told him, oh, sure, I'm a good person. I'm a good leader and follower. Blah, blah, blah. But I needed time to really think about it, right? Because by the end of the interview, I felt like I was drained. I wasn't hypnotized. Like my body was so tired, just to. That person set me up in a way that I was gonna say yes, but I was gonna say yes just to please her. And that, that's not me. I don't want that. So as soon as I say, let me just talk about it with my wife. Then things start coming in. Start coming in in a way that I was like, nah, man, I, I just went through to this process, right? See, that's why she get paid very well, because she can just do that skill. Make sure that she managed to just get people to do things that, you know, they might not want to do. Now, what I control was my decision and not to please nobody. You just do the right decision, which was not go with them. Happens to be go online these kind of people they are hated everywhere and I can see why I 
can see why. It's important for us to understand that even the situations like this that we don't think that we should say no, we should say no because remember, we can control that. We can control saying no. We can control not pleasing people. All those decisions, we can control them. But something that we should not, 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 not do is to be congruent with ourselves. Okay? This one was short. From the PF Music Podcast. Um, this is episode 115. We're getting there. Getting there after 150. That will be my next look goal. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. You're listening to the podcast and YouTube Rumble and Beach It. I'm going to really appreciate it. You're listening to the podcast in Anchor.fm. You can listen to the podcast in all the platforms Spotify, um, uh, iHeartRadio, all these great streaming platforms. You can do it. And, you know, just share with your friends. If you have any questions, you can reach out to the PA, PA Alpha Podcast at gmail.com or PA Alpha Music at gmail.com and I will read them and also you can support the podcast in one of the links of the description down below where it says support with this episode 115 control what you can control now this was your host Paolo Jarvis Vargas I'm out peace